Hey guys, Chance White here, Director of Photography with White Flame Studios, and today I'm going to tell you about the Tilta Epic slash Scarlet Rig you can order from iCanCorp.com. Let's get started. Okay, so I'm going to go ahead and assemble the rig on my red Epic, and I'm going to start with the bottom slash base plate. One of the nice things about this rig is it's very modular. You can go lightweight or you can build it all the way out, depending on whatever your needs are for your shoot. So yeah, the tilt of side armor is great. It helps you protect your camera and also gives you more mounting points. Okay, so once that's nice and tight, you can move on to the other side. This side plate is cool because it has a button that allows you to easily press the record button. So notice how the side plates screw into the top plate, which creates a nice cohesive armor for your camera. So now I'm gonna move on to the other side and screw the other side into the top plate. So now we've added our top plate, bottom plate, and our side armor. As you can see, the camera is very well protected and we've got lots of mounting options. You can also add handles to the sides. This is especially handy if you don't have a red side handle. Now it's time to attach this guy which allows you to attach the tilt to top handle and or 19 millimeter rods to add additional accessories. So I've got that nice and tight. Now I'm going to attach the tilt to top handle. So this top handle is really cool because it even has cold shoe mounts. It's got two of them. It's also got more mounting points. Included with this rig is this bottom plate, which has 15 millimeter rod support, 19 millimeter rod support, and is a dovetail clamp. That makes it a trifecta in camera rig technology. <laughs> and there's another really cool feature about this rig that comes into play if you have a red touch monitor. And so I'm gonna add these top 19 millimeter rods up here. Okay, so now we have our 19 millimeter rods on the top and we can attach this piece. So you can slide that on there. You can put it wherever you need it. And then we can attach this piece which is a monitor arm for the red touch. So I can attach this here. So now if you're using a shoulder mount, you need to offset your red touch. You can mount your red touch here and get it wherever you need it, which is very useful. So this is a 12 inch RE standard dovetail plate. And I've already attached my tripod plate to it. Okay, so now I just pop this on and you can very quickly just slide the camera right onto the dovetail and you can tighten it or loosen it with this knob right here. And this also helps for balancing. You can get the balance just right on the tripod or on a shoulder mount. If you have the dovetail shoulder mount system, you can slide right off of the tripod dovetail here and go directly onto your shoulder mount system. What's really nice about dovetail shoulder mount systems is you can slide them forward and back on the dovetail so you can get the counterweight exactly right. So now I'm gonna put the 19 millimeter rods on, slide those in, tighten them up. Okay, and then I'm gonna go ahead and attach my lens. All right, this is the Tilta single-sided cinema follow focus that you can order from iCanCorp.com. What's really cool about this follow focus is it comes ready for 15 millimeter rods or 19 millimeter rods. So this follow focus has quick release functionality, which means all you have to do is put it right on the rods and slide it into place and tighten it down. So just move your gear into place, tighten it up, and you're ready to pull focus. This kit includes everything you need and then some. You've got extra marking discs, lens gears, a crank, a whip, and different size gears for the follow focus. Now this is a real man's matte box. This is the Tilta 4x5.65 carbon fiber matte box. Let's put it on. So just slide it into place, tighten it up, and you are ready to go. This is a swing away matte box, which makes lens changes that much easier. It also features two rotatable filter trays. So, you know, what's great about matte boxes is, you know, sometimes lens flares are really cool and you want them, but other times you don't. And, you know, given the circumstances, you need a way to flag that light from hitting the lens. That's where your French flag, your side flags, and some of these other accessories come into play. And lastly, I've added the ICAN D7W monitor and the rig is completely built and ready to go. I'm Chance White and you can order these parts on iCanCorp.com. Happy shooting.